Caught in the proposal plot, Friend's Dilemma. My 27F best friend has been dating her boyfriend, 26M, for over five years. A while back, he reached out to me to help figure out ring size and the setup so he could make this the most magical day for her. Having known my friend for over 20 plus years, I know exactly how she wants her proposal to go and who she wants to be there. So I relayed all this information to him months ago via text and over the phone. I even took the time to covertly find and confirm which ring she would love the most. A little background. My friend is incredibly family and friend oriented. And in the past expressed to me on multiple occasions, especially during holiday season, that in the five years they've been together, he hasn't really made much of an effort to indoctrinate himself into her family or friendships the way she has for his. While I do generally like him, I have always felt that he is incredibly self-serving and self-focused. Recently, through a mutual friend, I found out he started a group text between his, emphasis on his, friends and his family, to set up the time and date of the proposal. He has not only excluded myself, and according to the screenshots I've seen, he is doing everything verbatim I suggested he do, but he has completely excluded her family and other close friends from the event. He is planning on only having his boys and family present for the occasion, and knowing my friend, this would ultimately break her heart, not being able to share this moment with her loved ones. I got a heated and called him. At first he was dodging my questions, then just outright said, this is my proposal, and I've spent enough time and money to choose how I do it. Just be happy for your friend. It's not like you're not coming to the wedding. This infuriated me, and to make matters worse, I ran into her mom and dad at the grocery store and subtly asked if they knew of any possibility she was getting engaged. They were unaware, and I know for a fact my friend has told him that he needs to ask her parents for their blessing. She's somewhat traditional. My friend wears her heart on her sleeve, and I can predict how this event will go down when she sees all of his close friends and family and none of hers. Considering her previous sentiments about his lack of interest in her family life, she will 100% see this as being hurtful and selfish, and I know she'll cry. To make matters worse, the location of the proposal is a whopping 30 minutes from her parents' home. I don't want to get involved in a fight or reveal the surprise, but on the other hand, I feel I owe it to my lifelong friend to help her avoid being hurt and disappointed, maybe even helping her rethink what her future would look like with someone who just doesn't really appreciate what she values in life. So, Aita, if I tell my friend her boyfriend is going to propose, edit. I did not tell her parents, I tilde covertly. Tilda inquired if he had spoken to them yet about proposing since it's been five years, like in a joking way. Edit two. The proposal is scheduled for this weekend. I will give you guys an update on how it goes. After so many responses, I have decided not to say anything and to let things play out. I gave him an opportunity by expressing the need to invite her parents and friends like she's always wanted and he chose not to. That's on him, not me. Update 1. So on Saturday, the day of the proposal, I got a call from her boyfriend. He was screaming at me, blaming me for not showing up, uninvited still, to the proposal with her parents because she was upset they weren't there. I was fucking slack-jawed. I told him I knew this would happen and he says verbatim. You just admitted you knew this would happen. So if you knew the whole time, and you actually cared about her, you would have invited them. I was gob smacked and hung up on him. Not even an hour later I get a call from her asking me to come to her parents. According to her, this is how the situation played out. He popped the cue, she said yes, and the people he invited popped out from hiding. She was bombarded by four of his guy friends. His mom, dad, older brother and his sister-in-law. His parents were holding a sign that read, Welcome to the family, Mrs. Insert his last name here. And this is where things go downhill. I did not know this before, and I thought I knew everything. But my friend doesn't want to change her last name, and she's told him that repeatedly since they got together. She's an only child from a Ukrainian family, and with everything going on with Ukraine in the last year, she's doubled down. When she saw the sign, she joked, Misses his last name? I think you mean misses her last name. Everyone went silent until his mom said, Well, the ring is already engraved. No changing it now. She takes the ring off and sees misses his last name engraved on the band. Then she asked if her parents were coming. He gave every excuse. He didn't have their number. There were too many people there. He wanted to keep it private 
and eventually said, This was my proposal to you, and now my family is your family. We can just send your parents the pictures later. She took the ring off and left. That's when I'm assuming I got that call from him. She went straight to her parents. She asked them about the engagement. They were clueless. She then asked if I knew anything. I asked if she was in the right place. She said she was. So I told her I would answer any question she had, rather than dumping everything on her. She was upset, but thanked me. She was furious when I told her about the call from him earlier and said, Does he really think I'm that shallow? She said it wasn't about having a perfect proposal or her parents there. It was about him making the whole thing about himself as always, and she was done feeling ignored and belittled. So, this was her breaking point. She's staying with her parents currently and has been receiving texts from him. The worst one so far is him telling her she has to pay him back for the ring and for ruining his life. Right now, all I can do is be here for her. And whatever decision she makes, I will fully support. Because as you've all helped me realize, this isn't about me, it's about her. Not my monkey, not my circus. Edit. She gave him the ring back when she took it off. I didn't include that because I was at the 3000 character limit already. Edit 2. Update. I did not mention this plan when I originally posted, just in case her ex found this thread. But I can report now that we got a heads up last night that he wasn't at their apartment, so we ran over and got most of her shit out. At least all the really important stuff. To those asking, no she isn't going back to him. It's over.